WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. This is the 4 p.m. 4 p.m. market update with Jacob Shoup. Let's take a look where we're closing right now. Uh, the S&P 500 at 4,449, very sideways. The, the ES is closing at 4,501. Uh, that is sideways as well. We have the Dow Jones Industrial closing about six points. And we have the NASDAQ finishing off about uh, just meager 1.9 points up for the day. Let's take a look here. We have gold closing at 19.54.60 cents. Silver 23.52. We have the copper contract at three dollars and seventy-seven cents. Uh, the light sweet crude contact, uh, contracts at ninety-two dollars. We'll finish out the dollar at one hundred five twelve. Now this is sideways today. We and it, it's interesting to see what I'll check the volume a little later as well. We had significant volume to the downside Friday um, in the Nasdaq in the Dow, and I can't imagine there's much more uh, to be sold off. Uh, you know that energy kind of exhausts itself, um, but still. Somewhat of a sideways day today, um, so it'll be interesting to see kind of how that shakes out for the rest of the week. We have the Qs closing at 370. We have Google closing at 138.97. Meta at 302.55. Poor old Disney at 85. <laughs> Some pretty big volume uh, on the daily, uh, right down to the end there. Uh, so they're really fighting over that there and shaking out about 85.02. And Apple at 177.97. Of course, Instacart IPO is coming out. The company is selling a total of 22 million shares. As part of the deal, PepsiCo has also agreed to buy $175 million of Instacart Series A redeemable convertible uh, preferred stock. Let's see. The pricing. Yeah, they're looking for about $26 to $28 per share, and that would equate to about $9.3 billion value for the company, which is uh, pretty substantial. I remember using them quite a bit during quarantine. I don't anymore, um, but I still think that's one of the things that really stayed around afterwards because I do know quite a few people uh, who still use it. Folks, thank you so much for staying tuned. Um, I believe we'll have Tom back tomorrow. We do have the full lineup tomorrow, starting with Tommy at 9 a.m. Have a great rest of your evening, folks. Sharpen.